Hey, Philip. Thanks for being here. How are you? Good to see you. Life is good. How are you doing? Doing well. Coming out of this uh, pandemic, hopefully with a little more, a little more energy for Catalyst in the years ahead. So it's been good. Yeah. So, Philip, the reason I'm pulling you away from your, I assume, packed day is because I am excited about sharing what's going on with Catalyst and the film and TV industry growth here in Minnesota and locally in Duluth. Let's dive in. Sure, yeah. So first off, who are you and what do you do? Yeah, I am Philip Gilpin Jr. I'm the executive director of the Catalyst Story Institute here in Duluth. Um, and I'm also one of the founding board members of the newly reconstituted UMFO, which is the Upper Midwest Film Office. And both of those organizations are working together with, along with many other organizations around the state uh, to have the TV and film industry uh, roaring back in, in full force here in Minnesota. And our focus at Catalyst is particularly up here uh, in Duluth. Catalyst, when you first came, it was ITV Fest, and then you rebranded to Catalyst, and then you introduced this new name, Story Road Institute. What's the difference between Catalyst and Story Road Institute? Sure, yeah, so Catalyst has two components to it. It has a year-round institute where we work with storytellers and creatives of all skill levels. So if you out there watching are a storyteller, but you're the only one that knows it because all you do is write it down in your journals at night and you haven't gotten into the script writing industry or TV or uh, content creation industry, Catalyst is an open door for you to be able to come to us and say, hey, I'm a storyteller. I have uh, stories I want to tell, but I don't know how to do it. Uh, the industry seems big and scary and very far away to me. Uh, and that is where we work with you to help fill in any pieces of uh, knowledge about the industry. You know, there's all kinds of things that come in play when you're trying to take your story out of your head onto, put it onto a piece of paper and then take that script and produce it on screen. Uh, there's finance, there's legal, there's production, there's development, there's writer's rooms, there's all these things. Um, and we're here to simply help creatives go, oh, all right, this is the process. This is where I fit into the process. This is the role I want in the process because it's a very big industry with a lot of jobs. And uh, that's the that's the point of the year round Institute is, is it's a school. Uh, and then once a year, we hold our big graduation party, if you will, which is our festival event here in Duluth. And that's five days where our universe of content creators and industry executives and general fans of film and TV art all come together here in Duluth and we showcase brand new shows from around the world that haven't been seen before. We debut new scripts, we do pitch presentations, we do panels so that people here in Duluth and Minnesota get to actually meet uh, all of these creators and industry folks that fly in from LA, New York, London, around the world. Um, and it, it connects. So the Catalyst at a local level is a connector between the big outside content industry and our local uh, burgeoning industry here in Duluth. So the, the June 30th due date, what's that for? Yeah, so we have, like I mentioned earlier, we have two tracks at Catalyst. We have the Institute and then we have the festival. Um, people who are involved in the Institute, that is a year round process. Uh, and as part of their enrollment in the Institute, they get all the classes and meet direct meetings and pitch sessions and all these wonderful things. But they also get a ticket and a festival submission for one of their projects. Uh, with the festival coming up in 96 days, we have to close a window uh, to the point at which people can't submit anymore for this year. Um, that is June 30th. Uh, we've actually, uh, I, I fib a little bit, we've extended it to July 5th just for a grace period over the, over the holiday weekend. Um, but that is coming up now. And if you've been in the Institute and you want your pitch script or pilot video to be considered for the festival competition, get that to us by July 5th. Um, for the general public and other creators who haven't been in the Institute, it's the same window. Uh, July 5th was the cutoff date to submit, um, but you just, those people are submitting just to be part of the festival. They don't get all the, the year-round Institute stuff. Sure. And the Institute, so when you submit on the 30th or July 5th, we, they meet with you and then they meet with another, just broad strokes, what, what's that? 
What are those meetings? Yeah, so the way the Institute works is the first thing you do is have a general meeting with myself or another member of the team, and we just get to know who you are, where you're from, why are you in this industry, uh, you know, what, what is it about storytelling that really excites you, um, what kind of experience do you have, where are your knowledge gaps about the process. Uh, the process of creating and shooting and selling a film is so different from that of a television series or any type of episode. It doesn't have to be just TV, it could be a social media series, it could be a podcast, it could be anything, web series, whatever. Um, and those two processes are so different that most people come into our industry understanding the way the film process works. And we have to kind of help take what they know and switch it over and fill in the missing gaps on the TV side, the episodic side. Um, so we have meetings with you and then you go through a whole bunch of seminars. It's like 30 hours of seminars that we've created and learn all about the different steps in the process. Then we have another meeting with you about your creative uh, actual creative materials. So whereas the first meeting is generally about you and your career, the second meeting is specifically about the plot points, the characters, the show itself, uh, how you're writing and all of that. Um, and then you go and you have group meetings with other Institute members, very casual and formal um, online group sessions where you get to pitch your show to other people, get their feedback, hear their questions. Um, and then after that point, uh, we decide, you know, who are going to be the finalists in the festival competition. And um, at the festival itself, it's it's for more than people who are just selected. It's for the general public. It's for creators who don't even have something submitted. Um, the the point of the festival is to bring everybody together for in-person networking opportunities. Um, one of the secret sauce elements of creating an episodic series as opposed to a film is it's a longer it's a longer game. Um, you know, you need to develop relationships and you need to convince people that you're worth spending five, $10 million on over the next 10 years for the sake of your trading your series. And so forming those relationships is key and they just can't be done um, other than in person usually. So that's where uh, the festival component comes into play, whether or not you're screening or whether or not you're in, you're in the running for an award, it's important to be there. You're getting there. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for everything you're doing. So yeah. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time. Thanks, buddy. All right. See ya. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. We did a 45 minute interview with Philip. So I'm going to be cutting that up into chunks and sharing it a little bit over time. So subscribe so you can see those when they come out. Now I'm really excited to share with you a project that I am working on that I'm going to be submitting to Catalyst. I'm going to be submitting a pilot episode screenplay based on my mother's memoir, adapted from her memoir, which is currently available as an ebook, Incandescence Rising Above Darkness, Memoir and Art by Claire Cooley. It will soon also be available in print with a full color version and a black and white version. Okay, Incandescence, Rising Above Darkness by Claire Cooley, Memoir and Art. Again, the ebook is available on uh, Amazon Kindle and Kobo. Go to incandescencebook.com to learn more about it. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great one.